Right, peeps. Hello. This is Sausage Fingers. Welcome to Star Citizen. I have just bought the Mustang Alpha package. I'm going to talk about what that package entails. I'm only going to spend 10 minutes. I'm just going to have a little walk around my hangar, and then finally I'm going to have a brief look around my ship as well. Right, I got... This was 35, 30 pound, 35 pound, I think. Yeah, it was 35 pound and 10 pence sterling. I don't know what that is in American Dora, but it's more. Right. I got the Selfland Hangar. I got the Mustang Alpha, that thing over there. I got 1,000 creds because I used a friend's referral, and I'll put my referral in the description. I got an extra 5,000 credits to spend as well. I got three months insurance, I got access to Squadron 42, and the digital download of the game, obviously. Did I say three months insurance? Yeah. Yeah. So, there we go. Right, yeah, this hangar, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be realistic about this game. I absolutely love it so far, and I've only just stepped into the hangar, but it is a massive, it's a massively hungry game. I have got an i7 4790 motherboard which is quite a good motherboard it's not the best but it's it's up there i've got a gtx 760 graphics card which again is mid-range it's not the top but it's a decent graphics card i've got 16 gig of ram now i've got fraps running and i've got my webcam running i am going down to it's still glitchy it's twitchy this game i'm going between 50 and 30 frames per second and i'm set on low graphics that's the lowest graphics setting yes it's still absolutely beautiful but i'm on the lowest graphics setting when i turn everything off fraps and webcam i can bring it up to medium but it's still quite twitchy now i don't know if that's still because it's early access or just because it's massively hungry game hopefully it'll be a lot better optimized but it could go the other way and be a lot it, it could utilize a lot more once it's fully blown i'm only in the hangar i haven't even flown yet i haven't met other players so i don't know what the frame rate is going to be like then so that's just a, a warning about something that other people haven't said that's something that i've wondered about right what's this well i don't know how to do this What does it do? I don't know how to use this. So, oh. We'll come out of that. We'll come out of that. Right, I'm going to go upstairs. There's an elevator in here somewhere. Where is it? What is this? What? What is this? Oh, my God. There's so much stuff. I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh! That's cool as chips! That's how you get an arena commander! Alright! Okay! <laughs> That's very, very cool! There's a lift right in front of me as well! What is this thing here then? So I can customise my dude a little bit, can I? Okay, my loadout selector. Marine, medium armour, heavy armour. Wow, okay. I'm sure there'll be more stuff involved in that when it gets a bit bigger. Right, let's go upstairs. You don't have to press anything to go upstairs, neither. Having said that I'm in low graphics... Look, it is amazing. I don't know what other doors you can go in. They tend to open on their own. You can get out of this hangar and walk about, but I'm going to save that for another episode. This, this is solely, yeah, I just want to have a look in my hangar, because I haven't looked yet, and I want to have a look in my ship as well. I'm, I'm kind of a... Uh, a pleasure delayer. I want to go in my ship right now, but I want to see what else I got in the hangar. Very, very cool. I probability these doors are all going to lead somewhere eventually.
very early access. This is the bare bones of the game, pretty much. There's another lift here. We'll go downstairs. Other side, I presume, is the same. I get the cheap hangar because I've got the cheap ship, obviously. Which we're going to go and have a look at. Oh, I can't wait. Let me out. So I'm knocking down to about 30 frames per second now. Fraps is notoriously memory hungry though. It, do, it does slow up your system quite a bit. Here's my big fat guns. I don't know if they're gimbaled or not. I didn't even look at my setup. The reason I bought them, it was either the Mustang or the Aurora for me. It was price dependent. I weren't going to spend over 35 quid on a game that's not finished. It's that simple. I believe I can put stuff in there. You can put like a loading bay thing in there. Oh, we've only got a door one side. I know there's a door the other side. It's here, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to do it. We're going in. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for so long. Oh, oh, I see. I thought this side was going to open up. Makes sense now. There's a thruster type thing there. Let's let me out. That's a bit twitchy. Right, so. Ah. Oh. Am I in? Oh, it's so twitchy. Come on. Oh, I'm not happy with that at all, peeps. That's rubbish. Yeah, that's that's pretty rubbish. Come come on, Star Citizen, sort your life out. The animations to get in the ship is it's one of the things I've been waiting for the most out of everything. Let's see what the control button is. Yeah, that's duck. So I'll go in I'll even go in there ducked. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. We'll try it again. That's better. Right, let's go and sit in my seat. So I've got no sleeping bay in this ship, as it were. This is pretty. We've got loads of... Loads of visibility. I don't know how to get out of my chair. <laughs> I haven't thought about that yet. It's not escape. Damn it. Um, I haven't really thought about this. How do I get out of my ship, man? I need to press everything. Right, I've tried pressing everything to get out of my ship. What I didn't know was I pressed Control F to get out. <laughs> I actually had to Google it. Oh, bless my cotton socks. So I've got no bed in my ship. I'm... How do I... Right, I'm going go down the ladder. Okay, let's go down. Right, how do I shut the door in? Can I shut the door? I hope I can shut the door. So if I'm not in my ship, my hatch remains open. That that sounds like an issue as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so all in all, I got to say I'd love to say I'm amazed, but I'm really not. I'm the ship's, the ship's mediocre at best. Look, I'm twitching around like a good one. They've had long enough to sort out the Billy Basics on this game now. The door should shut when you get out, for starters. Does they, do they shut once I've walked away a bit, or what? Or does that door just stay open now? I'm not happy with that. Yeah. 
Yeah, kind of, I kind of expected a bit more. Yeah, a bit more functionality. I expected a lot more fluid movements. It, I mean, this is only a very, very small part of the game, getting in and out of the ship, obviously, but it's exactly that. It's a very small part of the game, which they should have nailed. You've got to get in and out of the ship all of the time to do everything. It's the bread and butter of the game. So that should be squared right away now. I'm impressed visually. I think it's been talked up too much. The hangars and the ships. Even though, yep, yeah, I'm a cheapskate and I've bought the Billy Basic ship. I'm happy, but I'm not I'm not blown away, to be honest. I hope it comes a long way. I'm not slating it yet, because I'm looking forward to the things to come. Next episode, we're going to leave the hangar and have a look about. Hopefully, <laughs> we don't crash like a good and the system don't crash. And while I'm offline, I'm going to try and shut this bloody door. Okay, peeps. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a like and subscribe. Any questions, just give us a shout, peeps, and I'll try and suss it out. Yeah, laters.